viewers in today's video i will continue my di discussion of last year paper especially of ugc net and uh, net english okay so today's uh, paper is 2014 june and english net paper okay so that paper we will try to discuss today so the first question of today's video is the just man justices what kind of foregrounding do you find in the above lines so what kind of for grounding we find in the above lines we have to uh, say so the correct answer will be according to my research it is a and b both but please do your own research that is syntactic and semantic next question match the list item in the list one with items in list two according to the code given below so i will not read it i will tell the answer so the correct answer uh, here correct answer is little bit confusing so please do your own research please verify it here according to my research this question has some errors errors next number 3 saying the separation of styles in accordance with class appears more consistently in dash than in medieval works of literature and art so what will be in the bracket uh, means in the given uh, blank the correct answer will be number b that is shakespeare number 4 Number four is saying, had we but world enough and time, this coin as lady were no crime. This statement is an example of what? This statement is an example of number A that is irony. Next, a Spencerian stanza has how many pentameters? Correct answer will be number C, that is eight iambic pentameter. And the next question is number six. It is uh, two, a very long, so I will not read all. Let me re reveal the correct answer. Correct answer will be number one, that is uh, one, uh, one is two, one is two. Roman one, uh, Clint Brooks. It, it will be related to paradox. Number two is one, William Emerson ambiguity. Mark Schofer. Uh, three will be related to four techniques as discovery. Four is three. Maud Botkin uh, related to archetypal patterns in poetry. Next question. Next is saying the artist may be present in his work like God in creation, invisible and almighty, everywhere felt but nowhere seen. Henry James is talking here about artist. What correct answer will be number A. That is impersonality. Okay. Uh, now let's try to do next question. Next question is number twelve, and twelfth number is saying that uh, keep up your bright swords for the dew will rust them. Good senior, you shall more command with years than with your weapons. The above lines are addressed by Othello to whom? So correct answer will be number B. That is Brabantio, Rodrigo, and officers. Okay, next. Third number question. Act five of Marlowe's Edward the Second shows the murder of the king. Where does it take place? Where does it take place? It takes place in um, number B, a room in the Barkali's castle. Next, uh, identify the correct correctly matched set number fourteen. So correct answer will be number A. That is the Sefford's calendar, fifteen seventy nine. Total's miscellany, fifteen fifty seven. Estrofel and Stella, fifteen ninety one. The Spanish tragedy, about fifteen eighty five. Next question. Next question. Uh, let's try to do this. We have already done in our previous video. So let me uh, take you to twenty three number. So twenty three saying, whom does Mirabel deceive into believing that he loves her in the way of the world? That is twenty three. The correct answer of the twenty three will be number B. That is Lady Whisper. Next twenty eight. Who is the author of Mary and the Unfinished The Wrongs of Woman? Twenty eight. Correct answer will be number A. That is Mary Wollstonecraft. Okay, number twenty-nine. Identify the incorrect factor in Henry James' theory of the novel. Twenty-nine. So correct answer will be number A. That is, it should be sentimental. Next, number twenty-five. The prelude, although begun as early as seventeen ninety-nine and finished in its first version in eighteen zero five, was not published until it it was not published until D. That is, eighteen fifty. Next question. A rosy sanctuary will I dress with the red trellis of a working brain. The above lines are quoted from where? Twenty-six. Correct answer is O to Sidi. That is B. Okay. So next question is saying thirty-four. Uh, thirty-four question is who among the following is not a surrealist poet? So correct answer will be number D. That is Davy C. D. Lewis. Okay, and number thirty-seven. Uh, let's jump into the thirty-seven. Thirty-seven saying among the following playwrights who was awarded the Pulitzer Prize in nineteen twenty? Number A is the correct answer. Eugene O'Neill. Next forty-three. Forty-three is asking that. Uh, which of the following is not an Asian Canadian writer? That is number D. That is Mina Alexander. Okay. Uh, then no, number forty-six. Forty-six is saying George Eliot's attempt to write a historical novel of the Italian Renaissance was not successful. Which when which was this no, novel? Number D. That is D. Romola. In which novel does the hero driven by passion and re revenge add a new dimension to the concept of suffering? That is forty-seven. Correct answer will be A. Wuthering Heights. Okay. And let's try to do now forty-eight. 
48 is saying from the following women characters in Hardy's novel, choose the odd one out. Number C, that is Elizabeth Jane is the uh, odd one. Okay, then let's try to do now here uh, 39. 39 is saying who among the following is not an American uh, modernist boy. That is number C, William Ellery Canning the Younger. Next. Uh, number 38 is saying D.S. Lawrence popularized the concept of death in his novels. Correct answer will be C. Primitism. Okay. 33. 33 is saying uh, what? Consume my heart away, seek with desire and fasten for, to a dying animal. The above lines are taken from where? It is taken from number B that is Felix Rendell. Okay. Next. Next is saying uh, number 27. 27 is saying what? It is saying that love seeks only self to please, to bind another to its delight. This this selfish and positive nature of love is illustrated in blacks. Which point? Number A, that is uh, the cloud and the pebble. 